The RSPCA believes that everyone should want to reach a point where science is done without causing pain, suffering, distress or lasting harm to animals. So, we're calling on governments and all those involved in lab animal care and use around the world to agree that phasing out the use of animals in science is a desirable goal and show leadership and commitment to achieving this with clear plans. Tens of millions of animals are used in research and testing globally each year. As well as the impact on the animals, there is increasing recognition of the scientific limitations of many animal models and tests. There has also been encouraging progress with developing humane alternatives to many animal experiments. But this is not happening anywhere near fast enough. In many cases, there are real scientific obstacles to be overcome. For example, alternative methods may not currently be available. But people can also be slow to accept the non-animal alternatives that do exist, sometimes because they don't know about them or how to use or access them. The RSPCA is calling for the UK government to lead the way by helping to develop an ambitious strategy for phasing out animal use in research and testing. And we know that the UK public strongly supports this. Over three quarters of adults say that they are very concerned about the use of animals in scientific research and testing. And that more needs to be done to speed up the development and uptake of alternatives to animal experiments. And that the UK government should commit to phasing out lab animal use. Transitioning away from animal use and phasing in alternative approaches requires commitment and coordinated action from politicians, companies that produce new medicines or chemicals, and the bodies that regulate them, organisations that fund science, and individual scientists. This isn't about stopping important research. There are compelling scientific and economic reasons for making the change, in addition to ending lab animal use and suffering. And the advanced methods and approaches developed will also help solve the major health and environmental challenges of the 21st century. With a clear goal and strategy for ultimately phasing out animal use in research and testing, the UK can lead the way. The time to act is now. <laughs>